You know, at SureFit Designs, we're all about your unique measurements and your unique shape in order to get you the best fit possible in your patterns, something that for many of you has been very difficult to achieve over the years. Hi everyone, I'm Glenda with SureFit Designs, often referred to as Glenda the Good Stitch. You know, we're doing this series called What I Didn't Know But Wish I Had Known Before I Cut My Fabric Out. And today we're going to talk about your overall circumference as you measure your bust measurement and then how you work with the SureFit Designs numbers and master pattern to get you the best results possible. So, in the SureFit Designs dress kit, there is a 56 page instruction book. All right. A lot of you are familiar with this. Some of you who aren't, it might be something you'd like to research. On page six, there is a paragraph here, and it says, important tip, larger slash smaller front or back. Well, what does that all mean? Let's just take an example of an overall bus circumference of 40 inches. And are you evenly distributed front and back? So let's take a look at this oval. Now let's assume that your head is up here and you're looking down from your head down this way. And these would be your shoulders. And so this is your front and this is your back. And we're basically distributing the amount of fabric around that circumference. And I'm just going to work with a number of 40 inches, which is 106 and a half. No, it's not. It's 101.6 centimeters. So we can work with the metric system as well for all of our international customers. So let's just say that you are 40 inches around. So in your bodice front, you would, you mark your measurement dots in. I know some of you have seen this before. You mark your measurement dots in, you use your designing stylus, you join your dots together, just like our dot-to-dot -dot coloring books of years gone by, and you end up with what I call your body blueprint. So you're using this 40 dot, all right, because you're 40 inches around. Now, in the back of your pattern, you do that same thing. You would use the 40 dot. Where is it? It's right there, okay? And that's because you're evenly distributed, pretty much so, on your front and your back of your bodice. But let's say that you know you have more of your dimension in the front of your body than you do in the back. You're narrow in the back and maybe you're like a double D or an E cup bra shape. So let me put up this next oval which I've done in green so that you can see a difference here. And so this is going to represent our double D or E cup bust shape. So more of your fullness is in the front of your body than it is in the back of your body. So how does that affect your pattern? Well, what I recommend that you do, and again, this is on page six of the dress kit instruction book, larger slash smaller front or back, is if you have more of your fullness in the front of your body, please take whatever complete circumference you are and say, I'm going to go up one dot in the front and I'm going to go down one dot in the back. So what does that make happen to the pattern? Well, on the bodice front, you'd use the 41 dot and on the bodice back, you would use the 39 dot because when you add those two together, you still end up with your original circumference being 40, but you've given more of it to the front of your body than to the back of your body. And how does that affect the sleeve? Well, let's go over and take a look at the sleeve pattern. Normally, you would use your bust measurement to go all the way around, but and so I, I, I shouldn't say but, I'll say um, what you need to do then is use your 40 dot in the top of the sleeve cap, but as you come down to the front of your pattern, use your 41 dot, and as you come down to the back of your pattern, 
use the 39 dot. So that, that would be consistent then with having taken down the back and given more to the front. Now, the reverse can happen. Let's say that more of your fullness is in the back of your body. And I actually had a circumstance like this happen in one of the fitting classes that I was doing. A lady came who had a very, very rounded back and more of her fullness was in the back. And it wasn't just a rounding of her back, but she was somewhat handicapped and she walked using a walker all the time. So because she walked like this, the back of her body needed more length this way up and down as well as more length around. So what we did in this circumstance, and again I'll just use the 40 as a, an, an example, we went up to the 41 in the back and on the front we came down to the 39. And then the same concept would apply to the sleeve pattern. You'd start off with your basic original number being 40, but then as you come down to the back, I'd go up to the 41, and as I come down to the front, I would go down to the 39, okay? So the sleeve always has to be taken into account if you make this change to the front and back of your pattern at the underarm. Something else you might want to take into consideration too is that when you make a larger front or larger back, that as you come down your side seam, to keep your side seam shapes consistent, you will likely want to go to the larger number at your waistline. Again, I'll just use 30 as an example. If you're giving more to the front than you are to the back, you'd go to the 31 in the front, and in the back you'd go to the 29 dot in the waist. And that way, when you join your side seams together, they're going to fit in a nice smooth shape on the side seam. So that's where you get the information in your dress kit. This same concept can apply to your pants kit as well as your shirt kit. So be aware of this before you start cutting out your fabric because when you do your first test garment, our goal is to make it fit you the very best that it possibly can. So if you haven't yet already joined our SureFit Designs community, please do so by going to surefitdesigns.com. There'll be a pop-up there to join our newsletter list. Please put in your first name, email, and the country where you're located. Hit submit. It's going to take you to the subscriptions gift page. And from there, you'll get four free gifts to get you started. And while you are in YouTube, please make sure that you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You know we have close to, gosh, well, 300 likely and 50 videos now going on in YouTube. And also, I categorize them and put them in our SureFit Designs Learning Center for your easy reference. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.